my way to the car show with Jason. Hi. He's really excited about this. <laughs> and I am starting off the day with some plain, well, I actually have a little bit of salt on them, but they're just rice crackers with nothing on top. One of the highlights of last year's auto show was getting a really good hemp latte at Groundwork Coffee. So that's going to be the very first stop here. Before we even see the cars, we're going to get a drink. Well, I'm very excited about this drink. This is a hemp mocha, and I had them check the mocha ingredients to make sure that it was vegan. The Mexican mocha is not. If you ever come to Groundwork, it has dairy in it. Uh, the only downside is that I brought my own mug, but they couldn't use it here because of health codes. So I'm carrying around an extra bulky mug and drinking it out of the cup, but they are eco-friendly cups. And Jason got hot I got chocolate. a hot chocolate with hemp milk. It's just so rad to get hemp milk. It makes me happy. At a convention center. Wanna see one of my favorite electric cars? See if you can guess what it is. I'll give you a second. All right, ready? When I came to this car show three years ago, I thought about getting this coming car. Can you guess what it is? It's also eco-friendly. Not quite as cool as my Fiat though. I don't go crazy over Porsche, but I will give them props for having a plug-in. Here's another car I almost got. Guess? Well, obviously I'm over at Ford right now. Just kidding. This Focus was the car I almost got over my Fiat last year, but I'm really glad I got the Fiat. Last year when I came to the car show, I fell in love with the Fiat 500e, and like a few weeks later, I owned one. And this year, I'm really tempted to trade mine in for this version of the electric. It's a Stormtroopers themed electric Fiat. They've managed to make the electric Fiat even cooler inside now. I want to trade mine in already. But that wouldn't be very eco-friendly of me. Super excited to check out the new Whole Foods in LA. I am sitting outside on the Wanderlust Hollywood patio. This place is so beautiful. I've only been here for events, but I walked around tonight for the first time and it is like the most incredible yoga and meditation space. I really want to come take classes here. Just went to an event for Good Bites, which make really delicious raw truffles, most of their, and raw snacks, I should say but they're kind of featured around these truffles. Most of the products are vegan. I think all but one that has honey in it. And they make crackers 
and all these different types of sweet truffles, some with dates, some with cacao, some, one of them's like a brownie flavor, another one's like a blondie, and uh, cashews that are really tasty, and it's such high vibe food. I actually did a video about them, a little unboxing a while ago, I'll link to it up above and down below in the YouTube description field if you want to check that out. It's been a really nice day, just a great pace. I got some work done, but mainly it was enjoying the car show. After the auto show, Jason and I went over to Whole Foods downtown. It was my first time going there. And I was saved, my hanger was saved by <laughs> the, having a McDougal's cup. I love those things. I buy them at Whole Foods and then I go to the coffee bar and fill them up with hot water there so I can have them instantly. I also had some rice cakes with some of the Heidi Ho cheese on there. And um, I feel very satisfied. Had some kale salad here at the party and some lemonade and um, <laughs> some hummus. Haven't been entirely oil free today, but a good amount. And here's Vince. Healthy vegan guy. And Jason, what up? another healthy vegan guy. <laughs>